Sunnies, it's Alex and in today's video I'm actually going to be doing a thumbnail tutorial. This video has been highly requested by so many of you. I don't even know if I should even make one because I feel like it'd be quite boring and I'm not really good at describing stuff so I feel like it wouldn't be a very good video. But I keep getting comments asking me to do one and I'm like you know what I'll finally do one I guess for you guys and I do apologise ahead if it isn't a really good tutorial. I did try, but yeah, let's just get started. Okay, for the example I'm going to be showing, it's going to be like a morning routine, you know, just an example, actually. Maybe night routine, I'm not quite sure, to be honest. But first, get your characters out that you want in the thumbnail. Or like any animals you do. Get them. And actually, I'm going to show you where to go after like take the picture and stuff i don't know i do this but like you can also do this in movie studio you'll see what i mean <laughs> i don't make any sense right now really so i have this area just for like a green screen and it's better if you do movie studio but not everyone has it so i'm just going to show you it right here instead and then basically you just position it how you like like that Example, and then you take a screenshot so let's do that right now and then you can just zoom in like what i'm doing like do that yeah and then save your photos okay so you have like the people ready for the thumbnail but if you want to add decorations then it's quite simple to be honest let me show you basically let's say if you're doing a morning routine you like frying pan let's get that and some eggs yeah like like this i'm just going to take a screenshot of that frying pan's a bit ugly i might switch it to the pink one now so decisive i'll get that what else should i add for like a morning routine what do you think when you think of morning routine you think I like should I add a shower project like this probably okay I'm gonna take a screenshot of those I guess and then the save the photos okay we've done with Toki book yeah let me show you what editing apps I use so basically you can use ivs paint x or procreate it's definitely your choice you know but i don't really prefer procreate like when making thumbnails the only reason why is because ivs paint definitely has more options especially if you want to make a thumbnail so yeah and also it is free unlike procreate and like that's enough of me just blabbering about rubbish anyway let's go in the app and then go to my gallery we literally have 129 photos in my gallery. I need to delete it, but I keep forgetting. Anyways, press the plus button. And then you want to go to 916, okay? Because that's like the perfect size for thumbnail. So press that, yeah. Okay, perfect. Then press the camera button. And I just added like a background. You can basically take any background in Tokyo Take a screenshot of it. It's going to zoom it in. Okay, that looks good, I think, yeah. I'm gonna do the check. It says extract line drawing. You can just do cancel because you don't need to do that. You can just do this. Should I switch it like that? I feel like it looks different and cool, I guess. Add the like decoration after. Then go to selection layer. And then go to bucket. And you can make the expansion big, I guess. I'll just do two. And type on the green side, right? Basically do that. Do that. For it's okay if you get, like, the background. Because it's not on the same layer. So that's definitely okay. That's perfect, I think. And then you press this. Press back on the layer. And then press this button right there. 
Hey, look, it's gone. Then remove selection area. Then go to filter. Go to style. Then stroke outer. And then you add like the stroke of it. Then go to drop shadow. Yeah, basically like that. So it looks like a sticker. You don't necessarily have to do that, but you can. You can do this if you like. I'm gonna zoom it in a bit, should I? I think that looked good, yeah? I'll do that, I guess. Now, you can add the decoration. Let's do that. And then there's the same thing that you did to the people. Let's take this out, actually, because you can see the green part. We don't want that, do we, now? Then, I'm actually gonna do that, so we do protect the layer. So what these two do be on separate layers when I move it, they're not being moved together. Nice, right, right now. Do that right there. Frying pan now. I'm going to move it like this. Should I have a frying pan feel like that's a bit weird, you know? Ugh, don't know what to do, to be honest. Okay, so just switch like those placements because I honestly had no idea where to place them. But I think this looks so much more better now. And after we have to add the shadow. I'll show you. So good brush. You just cancel, you don't need to do that. I do black, yeah. Now, you want to make sure the opacity is lower, so maybe 76. Actually, I think that's a bit too dark for the shadow. Yeah, I'm right. Let's do 50. Mm, is that good? Yeah, I don't think so. Oops, never mind, actually. I think 30 is good. And then just do it like this. I think adding shadows makes it much more better, in my opinion. But obviously, if you don't want to add it, you don't need to. It just makes it look cute. Okay, so after we do the shadows, it's time to add the blush. And I like to do like a dark red. Also, make sure the opacity is not too high for the blush either. Now, the last step for the simple thumbnail style is the text. I always get questions on what type of like text I use and the names. Well, I'll tell you right now. Press add text when you press the text button. Go to your font. And here are the two main ones I use. This one, which I have no idea what it's called. I'll store it so you can see. And this one, Alone on Earth. So let me show you. Basically, since there's going to be a morning routine, I'm going to do which family. Let's change the font to this, Alone on Earth. Let's make it white. And the stroke a bit more thicker. And the size a bit more actually I think this is perfect now you press this button and press text again and now I do morning routine but you're gonna do that other font that I told you about this one which I cannot pronounce and I won't even try to I think I'm gonna do green actually does that look good yeah That's perfect. I really like the colour. I'm going to press that again. Now you do to like opacity. Then go to filter. Then go to draw. And you can press that button right there. Let's look. I just like playing around to see what looks cute together. No, this is way too light. Can't even read it. Let's see. I think this is actually really cute, look. <gasps> that looks so pretty. Now you press drop shadow. I'm gonna do that two times actually. And go back to which family text. And also do drop shadow two times as well. Okay, after I added all of that, I'm gonna be adding emojis. So to do that, you actually just wanna press text again. And then, you know, get the emojis. Quite simple, to be honest. 
So since I added the fridge, I'm going to find like a rich emoji like that emoji that has a money sign on his tongue and eyes. I think that's quite funny. And I'm also going to be adding the sun because, you know, it's a morning routine. So the emojis do relate to the thumbnail and also relate to the text because you don't want random emojis. That's a bit random. <laughs> okay, and the drop shadow. I think that's good. Now we're going to merge all the layers down, okay? And then I'm going to go to style and bevel. And then when you do this, it actually makes them all brighter. And I don't know, I feel like it looks much more better now, doesn't it? I'm just like playing around with the buttons. I think that's finished. I do really like the thumbnail and I hope you do like it. But I really hope you found this video at least a tiny bit helpful because I'm not really good at tutorials and I'm so bad at like describing stuff. But anyways, I do hope you have an amazing day all night. Remember, you're beautiful, talented and smart. Bye, you sicker sunnies.